Hello, this is Toll from Trifo Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce you guys to a an, an add-on. It's not, I don't think it's new, but it's an add-on that allows you to automatically apply any transformation that you've made to your mesh. And what I mean by that is rotation, scaling, um, location. And sometimes when you do a, uh, those transitions in Blender, and you want to apply an armature, you want to apply uh, another add-on to that mesh, sometimes you get a warning saying that your mesh is not scaled properly or something about the scaling. There's always an issue with the scaling for some reason. But this add-on pretty much eliminates it. Now this add-on, it can be free. I'll leave a link of the add-on in the description below this video. But you can support the developer by donating some amount of money. You just put the amount here. You can put zero or you can put the amount you want to give here. And then you press purchase. And then there'll be an e email confirmation thing that you've uh, put in the amount that you want. And then there'll be a link, <coughs> excuse me, a link to the add-on ready for you to download it onto your computer. You know, once you've downloaded it, you go to the process of installing it in Blender. Let me go to that process. Just go to edit and preferences and then you click on install <coughs> excuse me and you navigate to where you've installed the add-on on your system and just click on that and install that on and it automatically saved it into blender and then once you've done that you put a check check mark in the box next to the add-on and close it out and then it's going to appear right here so as i said before sometimes in blender you'll have uh, error messages that pop up saying that the scale of your mesh is off so it can't apply the armature or the armature may act a little wonky because the scale is off usually it's, it's something to do with the scale the location the rotation not so much but the scale but with this add-on it does it automatically so once you've installed it it's going to appear here under your items tab you have three boxes rotation position and scale and I'm going to scale this up and here are all the um, visible parts of the uh, location rotation and the scale all the parameters that are there and I'm going to scale this up and this is the, the area where the, the scaling will appear so let's scale this up Ooh. let's go back into the different shader mode S to scale up and you can see that it's changed the dimensions here and also the scale and then let's rotate it and the rotations parameter they've changed and let's relocate it click on our move gizmo and move it on the uh, x-axis and that's changed on the x-axis let's move it on the y-axis let's change it there and on the z-axis that's also changed it now before this add-on you have to press shift a or was it was it shift a it wasn't shift a that you would have to press i think it was just a was it just a I'm trying to remember the sh keyboard shortcuts. See, this is why this add-on is helpful because sometimes you might not remember as a beginner the keyboard shortcuts for applying your scale or rotation to your mesh. So having this handy eliminates all the guesswork. Hopefully I remember before the end of this tutorial. But once you've done that and you want to apply the skill, all you have to do is put a mark in the checkbox. Just look, keep your eyes on this uh, area. So just click on that. And the scaling goes back to one. Rotation, the same thing. Or location, the same thing which is the position it goes back to zero and the rotation the same thing goes back to zero so once again this is a very very helpful add-on that's simple but it helps a lot when it comes to applying the scale rotation and location to a mesh so that you don't have errors or issues with your mesh when you apply an armature or you apply an add-on to your mesh so once again, this is Tola from Trifo Bedenta with this Blender Quick Tip of this add-on. Hopefully it was helpful to those of you who are watching. And thank you guys who have subscribed. And you guys who are subscribing at this point in time. And you, the those of you who will subscribe in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. Unless I have remembered the keyboard shortcut for applying the scale, but it's all good. Alright, see you guys on the next one. Alright, adios.